Have you ever had the problem where you can't find your ancestor in the census? You have an idea where they should be living, but your searches just aren't turning them up. Hi, I'm Amy Johnson Crow, and I help family historians make more discoveries. When you have an idea of where your ancestor was living, but you still can't find them in the census, instead of searching by name, it's time to browse by location. And I'm going to show you how to do that on both Ancestry and on FamilySearch. When we go to Ancestry and we've logged in, click on the Search tab at the very top of the page, and then click Card Catalog. If you're interested in the U.S. Census, those censuses will actually appear on the very first page of the card catalog because they are among the most popular collections. Let's say that I'm interested in looking at a specific township in Indiana in the 1880 federal census. I can click on the link to that collection, the 1880 United States Federal Census, and it will bring me to the search page for that specific collection. Now usually when we're on a collection page like this, we start plugging in names and we see what results we get. But over on the right hand side of the page, we can actually browse the collection. Well, I'm interested in Pike Township, Jay County, Indiana, here in the 1880 census. So I'm going to start by choosing I'll click on State, and I'll choose Indiana. Next, I choose the county. I'll just use the drop-down and click on J. Now, I have to choose the township. I'm interested in Pike Township. Some townships only have one, what's called an enumeration district. And that was the area that one census taker was responsible for covering. Sometimes a township will only have one enumeration district. Sometimes it'll be divided into numerous enumeration districts. Fortunately, Ancestry gives us a description of the enumeration district. So if there were multiple ones, we could click on the one that's pertinent to what we're looking for. In this case, Pike Township only has one enumeration district. But I can click on it, and then it will take me into the images specifically for that enumeration district in that township, that county, and that state. And now I can just browse the images. As need be, I can make the images a little bit smaller and I can drag the images up and down so that I can read the entire page. When I'm done reading a page, I can simply scroll to the next page using either the right arrow button on the image viewer or clicking the film strip and just clicking the next thumbnail. And I can just keep repeating the process and I could read that entire enumeration district if I wanted to. Now, let's take a look at FamilySearch. FamilySearch.org also gives us the ability to browse location rather than relying simply on doing a search. To get started, hover over Search and click on Records. Again, we need to get into that specific collection. I'm still interested in the 1880 Federal Census. How I like to do it is, since I know I'm looking for the 1880 United States Census, down here in the collection title, I'll simply type in 1880. And it will give me a list of all of the collections that they have online that have 1880 in the title and I can scroll down and choose United States Census 1880. 
I'll click the title. Now, it's not as obvious at first how to browse the images on FamilySearch because there's this great big huge search screen. But if you scroll down towards the bottom of the page, when you get past the search, you'll actually see a link to browse through the images. Don't be scared when you see that it's browsing through more than a million images. Don't worry, you're not going to have to go through all of them. Go ahead, click that link. They've set up what are called waypoints, so it will get us into that set of images that we're interested in. Again, I'm still interested in Indiana. I'm still interested in Jay County, so I'll click on Jay. I'm still interested in Pike Township, so I'll click on Pike. And I'll click on the Enumeration District. Again, it still only has one Enumeration District in this township. If there were multiple Enumeration Districts in this township, I would just click on the one that I wanted. And just like we had on Ancestry, boom, we are right there with the images for that specific township, that specific enumeration district. I can use the image controls on the left-hand side of the page to zoom in as needed. I actually like to hide the image index when I'm doing this, and I can click this little down arrow next to the image index and hide all that so I can see more of the image at once. I can drag and drop the image so that I can read the entire page. And when I'm done with this page, up here at the top, I can click on the arrow to get to the next image. Going image by image, going page by page through a census may seem old school, but if you've been searching for your ancestors, you've been searching by name, and you haven't been able to find them, try looking at where you think they were living. It could be that they were just indexed, shall we say, creatively. Give this a try, and hopefully you'll make some more discoveries. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe link below. Also, check out my blog at amyjohnsoncrow.com for more tips on making more discoveries in your family history.